Hey there, how you guys doing? This is John Barton from JB Cases. So, uh, I got a little something on my mind right now. First of all, I want to kind of show you guys something, so check this. See all this? See this whole table right here? All of this is R&D right here. Here's my sewing machine. Here's one of them. There's the other one. You guys can see all what I got hanging up here. I got cases, different states of repair, different states of inspection. You know, it's a total mess in here. Total mess. I'm not super organized, but uh, but always got something going on. But here's what here's what I want to talk about right now. Um, I got in trouble today. I wouldn't call it trouble, but you know, I got a uh, I got into a little tiff with a couple of dipshits, and um, this is what I got in trouble for. So somebody posted up a case for sale, uh, and then it was shared, and I saw the post. I came across it, and and uh, the seller said that the the brand it was a Q Tech case, and they said. This is the best butterfly case on the market. And I just made a comment and I said, it's a very nice case, but it's not the best. I said, we are the best. JB Cases is the best. And I feel that way for that particular style of case for sure. Um, but what I got in trouble for was uh, a couple dipshits that have a real hard on for me, you know, and, and they're, they're, I mean, these guys are just, they're dumb as boxes of rocks, truly. They're, 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 they're just complete, complete and utter idiots. Um, they were like, oh, look at this guy. He's knocking an industry leader and everything. I mean, they're, they're, they're so busy jumping to the defense of, of a giant company, you know, um, like I'm doing something wrong, right? And, and, uh, and they're like, oh, he's knocking an industry leader. And, you know, and then John Barton is so awful and he's terrible. And why doesn't he just let the product speak for himself? Well, here's why. Products don't speak for themselves. People speak for products. So the first time you guys find a, a product speaking for itself, please let me know. I'd like to see it, right? I'd like to see a product standing up and, and, and saying, look at me, look at all the things I can do, you know, look at how great I am, look at all the features I have. But you're not going to find that. You know why? Because products are inert. They're, they're, they're things, right? People thought of them. People built them. People described them. People sell them. People hype them up. People lie about them. People tell the truth about them. They are things. So in order to take a thing that you have and sell it to someone else, you have to describe it in some way. Right. The sales that are when somebody just puts up a thing and says, I've got a thing for sale. Here's the price. Right. And they have no description unless that thing is really, truly well known and desired. Um, they're going to have a hard time selling it. You know. And usually if there's no description with it, then uh, then there's probably a reason for that. Either the person is really lazy or more likely, there's something wrong with the product that they don't want to disclose, and they're just hoping they find a sucker that'll just uh, jump on it and buy it. Um, but in my 30 years of being in this business, I have never seen any product speak for itself. You know who talks for it? People talk for it. Somebody gets a case, they like it, they... they, they make a testimonial. They say, Hey, I just got this new case. It's great. These are the things I like about it. These are the features that are, that are awesome. Right. And they may say, this is the best one I've ever had. This is the best butterfly case I've ever had in my hands. Right. In my opinion, they usually don't even say my opinion, but, but the point is, is that they are the ones doing the speaking right for the case because they've actually had a chance to have it in their hands and inspect it and decide whether they're happy with it or not and decide whether they want to share with everyone why they are happy. Now, I'm a maker, right? I make the stuff. 
So naturally, I'm happy when people do that, right? I'm happy when people take the time out of their day to, to stand up and say, hey, I just got a JB case and I love it and this is what these are all the things I love about it. And you know what I find? I find that a lot of times people will say stuff and they won't even know all the cool things about the case that they just bought. There's a lot of features and benefits that they're not even aware of. And then sometimes I'll go behind them and I'll say, hey, man, I'm glad you love your case. But did you know that it can do this and this and this? And they're like, whoa, no, I didn't know that. Right. And I, that's my fault. Right. That, my wife has been on me for years to do a card that goes with the case that kind of explains all the features and benefits. I did that when I had in-stroke, but I'm just totally lazy and I've, I've, I've kind of halfway designed it and it's been that way for like eight years. Um, so I'll, I'll, you know, I'll own that. That's my fault. But, but the point is, is that if I did provide such a card, it's still me speaking for the case. It's not, it's me telling the, the, the customer, this is what you got. These are all the features and benefits and, and the, you know, all the awesomeness that's a JB case. It's not the case telling them that. There are certain things that they can see and, and decide that they like. And there are certain things on the case that they, they're not going to see because they'd have to take the case apart to see it. They'd have to understand how good it is. So I am a kind of person that doesn't let things speak for themselves. I speak for them. I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. You know, I mean, I speak for the quality because honestly, it's BS. You know, all this let the product speak for itself nonsense is, is just complete and utter BS. It's always people speaking for the product and you have to look for the money and look for the motivation, right? So if it's somebody who's selling the product, Naturally, they are motivated to hype it up and to say, hey, look at this. It's great. It's awesome. Right. Um, and when they use words like the best or the, you know, the greatest and things like that, that's called hyperbole. And then when it's not even like when there's there's not even any any attached reason why they said that there's no justification and no foundation as to why they said it's the best. Because if you say something's the best, that means that other things are not the best, right? So there must be, there must be features and benefits on the thing that someone is claiming that's the best that are, can be objectively compared to other similar items, right? In this case, pool cue cases, where if someone were to ask and say, okay, why is it the best, right? Well, it has this feature, it has these pockets, it does this, it does that, and no other case does that, right? And if no other case does that, then maybe it is the best. But you can't just say, this is the best, and expect everyone to be on board with that, especially another maker, you know? Now there are other makers out there that that uh that make, you know, butterfly cases or whatever and and uh they probably just let that slide and you know maybe they don't feel like that the 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 Qtech case is better than their case but they're not out there hunting for comments and looking and saying where you know who's saying that this is the best and let me go and and compare it. I'm not that person. I don't let that slide. You know why I don't let it slide? This is why. Right here. This is why. Because I spend my days thinking about, I spend my days thinking about how to be better. You know? How can I make my product better than everyone else's? How can I make my product more protective? How can I make my product more useful? Um, how can I make it more comfortable for the user? How can I provide better organization, um, you know, better features, better benefits? So when I know that I do that and I see a competing product where um, they haven't done that or there's, you know, things that are wrong with the case or things that are not as good as what we do and someone says that that case is better than ours and that's exactly what they're saying when they say, this is the best, 
and I know that it's not better than what we do, then I feel like I have to speak up. My name is John Barton. I speak for the cases. You know, and I don't, I don't see anything wrong with that. I don't. Th there's a reason why this is called competition and not kumbaya. It's not called cooperation. It's not called collaboration. You know, it's not called making s'mores over the campfire. It's called competition. Because if you're a consumer and you've got, I don't know, $300 to spend on a pool cue case, and, and, um, this is really weird, man. I got a little, like, for some reason, this little dark spot's been coming in on my, on whenever I get a little five o'clock shadow here. And it, it uh, I feel like it makes me look like Hitler. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Um, so, so my point here is, is that, is that it's really stupid for someone to come at me and say, dude, you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to come in and challenge a claim, you know? Why not? I, I mean, really, why not? Why am I not allowed to do that? Think about that for a second. If someone is telling consumers something that is objectively not true, why, it, why am I not allowed to do that? Now, let me ask something. So I make the cases, right? So obviously there's a conflict of interest, right? I make cases. So I have knowledge of cases. I'm a maker. Um, you know, I know what I've done for the last 30 years. So there's a, you know, there's a conflict of interest there. So obviously if I say something about a case, that's on a little bit different level than if some random person, you know, would say the same exact thing that I said. Right. If they were to say, oh, yeah, you know, the QTEC really nice, but it's not the best. Right. And challenge the claim. But let's take out, you know, who I am and who they are out of the equation. And let's just look at the statement. What's the difference really in the statement? Right. Are they going to get jumped on by someone else, by these guys, because because uh, they said the same thing that I said? Like I didn't, I didn't post a big long comparison. I didn't post a video or anything like that. All I said was, "That's a nice case, but it's not the best. We're the best." That's all I said. You know, I, I feel like that's pretty mild and pretty innocent. But I could have posted a long, you know, video, and I could have posted uh, uh, the justifications and the reasons and the comparisons. And the reason that I could have done that is because I know my shit. You know, I bought the case. I looked at it. I inspected it. I think I made a video on it. I can't remember right now, um, but it doesn't matter. This is this is a public forum. It's a public venue, right? If you're out in the public and you're trying to sell the public on something, then anyone else can challenge that. So. Now I'm I'm going to be clear about something, right? If this was on like a like a for sale forum or something, then I wouldn't have gone there, right? I wouldn't have gone in there, you know. I wouldn't. It's like I wouldn't go into somebody else's store, or stand outside their store, and knock their sale. Now I might I might take what they said, and go somewhere else, like in my own part of the public forum, and say, hey. Somebody said this about this case and they said it's the best. Well, here, I'm going to tell you why that's not true, right? But if someone shares a post in the public forum, in the public square, then I don't have any problem addressing that. I don't think that that's unfair. So people will say, oh, that's not classy and that's not professional and everything. You know what? You know what? Who writes these rules? Seriously, think about it. Who writes these rules? Who tells who tells other people what they have to what they can and can't do? You know what? Nobody writes these rules. Nobody. Nobody does. I see ads on Facebook all the time. You know, it's uh I think it's right now the the Honda or the Hyundai or something like that and it says like like uh like in every aspect. I've seen this ad like 6 times. In every aspect the 
Honda Civic or whatever is better than the Toyota Prius. Right? I've seen that probably a dozen times. Or the Pepsi Challenge, you know, or or the Ford F-150 is 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 way better than the than the uh than the the Chevy Duramax or whatever. I don't even know if that's the right uh the right model and description, you know, I don't, I don't know much about trucks on that, but you see what I'm saying is if you look around, you can find plenty of comparative ads. You can find plenty of places where somebody says X, Y, Z truck is the best in the world. Right. And then somebody will come right behind that and go, uh, no, it's not, you know, and then usually they'll follow it up with a bunch of points and they'll say, it's not better in this category. This is not better. That's not better. It's, it's not, you know, whatever, right? That's our right as human beings to challenge claims. And if we have objective information that proves our claims, adequately proves our claims and backs it up, then it goes beyond opinion. Anybody can have an opinion, right? That doesn't mean that, that, that what they, what they, just because they've expressed an opinion on something, that that opinion should not or cannot be challenged. So I'm a seller, right? I'm a maker and I'm a seller. So here's what it comes down to, right? When I'm out there in the marketplace, when I'm out there representing my brand, I have a duty to my brand, to my bottom line, and more importantly, I have a duty to my people, to my staff, to not let other people walk all over us. And that includes making claims that are objectively not true. So if somebody says, this brand is the best in this category, and I know that it's not, or I feel that it's not, and I feel like I can prove that it's not, then I have a duty to stand up and say, no, it's not. And as consumers, you all should be grateful that somebody is standing up. Now, in the billiard industry, I often say in the billiard industry, it's a straight-up license to steal. Do you know why? Because there's nothing like consumer reports in the billiard industry. There's no... Consumer reports doesn't, doesn't take ads. They're subscription-only. They buy all the products that they that they evaluate. And so, you know, they're as close to unbiased as you can get. Now, I don't know if, uh, you know, I don't know if any particular reviewers in Consumer Reports are being bribed on the side or anything like that. But let's just assume that they're not. OK, let's assume that they're honest and, and they're unbiased. We have nothing like that in pool, which means anyone can say anything they want to say. You know, anyone can 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 write any description they want. They can hype their stuff any way they want. And there's no unbiased, objective place where you can go and see if what they said is true. You know, it's just people aren't doing that in the billiard industry. We did have a time when a couple people tried it, but, you know, they ended up just basically wanting to get free product. You know, so they weren't by they were not unbiased. They were basically asking companies, send me your product and I will review it. And I mean, that still goes on. But when you're basically asking people for pre free product that you can can have and keep, um, then you're not unbiased. You know, now, if you're buying that product yourself and you have no affiliation with them whatsoever and you have no you're getting no other reward in any way possible uh, from that company, then yes, that can be unbiased, but nobody's doing that. So here consumers, if you guys want to do that, go for it. You know, that would be great. That'll take a lot of heat off of me. And for, as far as cases go, if you guys are, are doing really thorough comparisons, but here's the deal. If someone were to do that and they were to say something about my product and it wasn't right, I would go back over the top of them and I would say, Thank you for the review, but you missed a couple things or you got a couple things wrong. And here's the here's the thing. And then that's my right to do that. You know, um, 
So can we all just please stop with the whole let the product speak for itself nonsense? Because products don't speak for themselves. People speak for the products, okay? And sometimes people get shit wrong, right? Sometimes people just say things, right? Just to, just because it sounds good. You know, this is the best in the industry or whatever, you know, because it's the hot new thing right now, you know, but the fact of it is, is that just because they say it doesn't make it true. So you guys can come here to my shop. You can come here, you know, and you can take any of these cases. You can, you can, you can, you can fact check anything that I've said, anything at all. You can come in here. You can take cases apart. You can look at them. You can look at the cases that I that I have uh, inspected. All the all the off brands, all of the comp competing brands. Anything that I've said about any other case or I've said about our cases, you can come here and verify it. You know, we'll turn the camera on. We'll do a live video, and if you find something I said that's bullshit, you can debunk it live right on air. But Here's the thing. I have made it a point to be super honest about what we build, to know my shit, and to make sure that if you do come here, you can come here unannounced. If you come here unannounced and you surprise me and you're like, I'm here, you didn't have time to prepare, you didn't even know I was coming. I have made it a point to make sure that what I say can be backed up and clearly objectively backed up. So if I'm putting in that effort, why the hell can't I say whatever the hell I want about my case or about any other case? Where are the rules that say I have to be nice about that? You know, they're competing for your money. So they're putting up a product and saying, hey, here's a case. Give me $300 because I told you it's the best in the business. Well, what if you find out that it's not? What if you find out that actually there's some serious things wrong with the case that, uh, you know, should have been, should be better? Are you going to get your $300 back? No, you're not. You're stuck with it. Now, if you want to sell it, you have to turn around and ignore the things that are defective on it and lie to someone else to sell it. You have to turn around and say to someone else, I've got, you know, XYZ brand of case for sale and it's the best in the business. You got to repeat the lie or repeat the misinformation in order to sell it. Even though you know that there's something wrong with it that you found out after you got it and you know there's no way you can return it, you know, there's no way you're getting your money back, now you got to sit there and move it, and you have to hype it up. So, you know, with our cases, you don't have to do that. You can literally just put the case up for sale and say, I've got a JV case for sale, and most people know what our quality is and what we stand for, and also, they know that when you sell the case to someone else, it also comes with a lifetime warranty. And it doesn't matter if you've used the case for five years or 10 years or 20 years. Lifetime means lifetime. If they're holding it in their hands, it's a lifetime warranty. What warranty does QTech have on their case? What warranty does Predator have on their case? What warranty does, does all the knockoff brands, what warranty do they have? You know, none of them have a lifetime warranty. I think only Castillo says they have a lifetime warranty and um and uh I don't think that they even explicitly state that on their website. But you know, I say it because it's true. And you'll find people out there that have had a case for 8 9 years or whatever and and something went wrong with it, something that we have we had since repaired, right? We've since fixed it in production. Um, and made sure that 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 that, that, that particular thing is never going to happen again or is very, very unlikely to happen. But 
somebody will send me a beat up case, you know, and there'll be something wrong with it that, that really should have been done better, but it wasn't. And then we fixed it. And so I'll replace the case. Where are you going to get that elsewhere? You know, really think about that. So if I'm willing to put that effort in to the cases that I'm selling to you, that I'm asking you to give me your money, you know, and I don't know how hard you worked for the money, but some people work pretty damn hard for their money. For some people, $300 is a lot of money. You know, it's a significant portion of their monthly income. Other people, you know, they throw away $300 like it's two bucks. But that doesn't mean that they want crap for their $300. You know, just because they can easily afford it doesn't mean that they want junk. Doesn't mean that they want to be lied to. So... I'm just telling you guys how it is with me is that I'm not going to stop speaking my mind about this. And if you're offended by that, you know, if you're, if your poor little sensibility is offended because I, as a case maker decided that, that I was going to speak up and say something about some other case brand being hyped or, or being misrepresented if that offends your sensibility to the point where you think that you have to defend this giant corporation and this giant brand, you know, like they're going to be so hurt because of what I said, then I'm sorry, you know, maybe you should call them up and get a check for your efforts. Because if, if in fact you're mad at me, for telling the truth about their case or telling the truth about my case and why my case is better and being able to objectively prove that if you're mad at me for just simply communicating that, then you're just a, you're a shill. That's all it is. And, and another thing, are you going to be responsible for somebody else's cues who buys a case that, that has issues that's not as good as it should be? or is not, isn't the quality that is. So if somebody says that XYZ case is the best, and I know that it's not the best objectively, if they get the case and it's not good, are you going to stand good for their money? Of course you're not. You know, of course you're not. You're not going to take responsibility for that. So you've stood up and trampled all over me who is knowledgeable about this product, you know, I am an expert in pool cue cases. All right. That's it. There's not anything else in life that I'm an expert in. Pool cue cases I'm an expert in because of this. This is why you'll never find this in any other case maker shop. Never. I'll bet super high on that, that you'll never, ever find this in anybody else's shop because they don't want to put forth the effort. They want to build whatever they're building and they think it's great and, you know, good for them. But that doesn't mean that whatever they're building is actually great. But I know that what we build is great because of all the effort that I put in. So you're basically coming to me and you're saying, screw you, John Barton. You're not an expert. You're biased. You know, you're, you're jealous or whatever it is, right? But you're not going to stand good for the other product that you're shilling for, you know? Do you think that, that, that Predator cares about you? Do you think that QTech cares about you? Do you think you're going to get some kind of heavenly reward from them because they're going to see a comment where you, you went off on me because I dared to, to question something? No, you're not. You're not going to get any of that. They don't need you to defend them. They don't, they don't, they're going to continue to do sponsorship and everything that they do because that's all part of getting you to buy their stuff. That's what they have to do. So the other thing, the other guy says, he goes, he goes, uh, oh, you know, how can you knock some company that's putting X amount of money? First of all, you don't even know how much money they're putting into pool. You don't, you know? You see their name around, but you don't have any idea how much money it is that they're putting in. You don't have any idea what percentage of their revenue that they're putting into pool and sponsoring pool with. 
You don't know that. You don't know how much I put in. You don't know. But but I'll tell you this. I'll bet you. I will bet them. You, if you're the critic, I'll bet you that if we look at the ratio, the percentage of money and product that I put into the industry compared to the amount of money that we actually make compared to our revenue, I'll bet you that we have a higher percentage of our revenue goes back into the industry, back into sponsoring pool and, and promoting pool and doing things for pool players and tournaments and, and charity events and everything else. I would bet you that a higher percentage of our revenue is going back into pool than a percentage of Qtex revenue is or Predator or anybody, you know? So you guys don't even know what you're talking about when you criticize me like this, when you try to bring up these points. And, and you just need to stop. You just need to completely stop. You need to stop telling me how to run my business and how to run my life and what I can and cannot say. It's not free speech for you and not free speech for me just because I happen to be a case maker and I happen to know my shit about cases, right? You don't get a license to say whatever the hell you want to say about pool cue cases. And I have to shut up just because I happen to be a guy that makes cases. Okay? So get over it. Just get over it. Right? I'm not going to go in if you're a roofer or you're a, you know, you're, you're a pressure washer or whatever the hell it is that you do. Right? I'm not going to go in and tell you that you're not allowed to say something about roofing. You know, if there's another roofer in your town who does completely shitty garbage work, right? And somebody gets up on a forum somewhere and says, you know, you, you know, uh, go with XYZ roofing, right? And you know, for sure with proof that XYZ roofing sucks. And that person is going XYZ roofing is the best in, in, in this city, Right then in my opinion, you have an obligation to yourself, to your family, to your employees, to your business to step up and say, um, no, they're not the best. And here's why they're not the best, you know? But at the very least, they're not the best. You know, you can say to people, look around you know, or call me or, you know, I'll be happy to explain our quality. And, you know, if you want to know, I'll tell you why they're not the best. And then if people get that information and they still go with XYZ roofing and they want to take a risk, then go for it. But they can't say they weren't informed. So let's just stop it with the nonsense. Okay. I'm in business to sell pool cue cases and I happen to be someone who makes the actual case that I'm selling to you. So I'm not just a salesperson buying a product and then reselling it. I am a maker and I am an expert in what I make and I'm an expert in what they make because I study I study the subject. I do the research. I do the work to take it apart, to figure it out. And if someone else happens to do anything better than we do it, then I'm going to incorporate what they do because I want my customers to have that feature or that benefit or that advantage. You know? That's what an innovator does. That's what somebody does who cares. So I'm not going to accept your criticism when you tell me that I'm not allowed to voice my opinion, especially when my opinion is backed up with objective facts. So just stop. All right. Maybe you don't like me. Maybe you don't like my approach. But if you're going to come at me, you better have your logic bullets, because if you don't have your logic bullets... You can be damn sure that I have a lot of ammo. So it's not going to go good for you. You're not going to like it. You're going to hate me even more when I'm done with you.
and you think, oh, you know, John shouldn't talk to me like this. You know, I'll, I'll never buy anything from him. You know what? I don't need your money, dude. I don't. You know why I don't need your money? Because I build a solid product and we sell everything we make and we have a 14 week backlog and I have more customers than I can service. And you know why I have more customers than I can service? Because we build a good product. Because I back up what I say. Because here we come all the way around again. I'm an expert in this. This is not arrogance talking. This is confidence talking. This is confidence built on knowledge. You guys understand that? I can't tell a roofer how to do his job. I can't tell a carpenter how to do his job. You know? I know what a router bit is. I don't know how to use them. You know? Very barely. I know a couple router bits, but I don't know I don't know all of them, you know, so I can't speak expertly on carpentry. Not at all. I can appreciate fine carpentry. But I don't know all the magic that went into it. I don't know how the secret sauce was made. And all I can see is a cabinet that looks really nice. But you know what? I don't know if there's balsa wood under there. You know, it might just look really nice, but it might not last a month. Or it might look really nice and it might be something that's still standing there a century from now. I don't know. But I would be really foolish to look at a, a dresser and proclaim it to be the best when I have almost zero knowledge of carpentry, right? When I have almost zero knowledge of, of woodworking, I would be really stupid to get up there and say, this is the best dresser in the field. This is the best, the, the, the best built, you know, uh, dresser that could ever be. And someone else who actually has the knowledge that it's not the best, they would be well within their right to step up and come right behind me and say, dude, you don't know what you're talking about. And if I'm an idiot, right, then I'm going to bristle and I'm going to go, ah, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, uh, you know, it's just my opinion, man. I'm allowed to give you my opinion. But you know what? If someone goes out and buys that dresser and a month later the damn thing falls apart or it swells or whatever, you put a drop of water on it, right, and it turns into, into, into mush, you don't need to come looking for me because I'm not, I'm not going to reach in my pocket and reimburse you just because I told you that it was the best. Sorry, dude, that was just my opinion, you know, just like my opinion. So, hey, sorry. That's what I thought at the time. Uh, I guess I was wrong. So, you know, that's where we're at. So how about you have a little bit of respect for the 30 years of experience that I've put into this? And how about you have a little bit of respect for the fact that I am willing to stand here and be fact-checked any day of the week? Like I told you, you can just surprise me and come in my shop and you can even have a laundry list and you can say, John Barton, you made all these claims. Let's go through them one by one, right? Here, I'm turning on the live stream right now. We're going to go through them and we're going to see if you're full of shit or if you're for real. Bring it. Wouldn't that be cooler to actually know? I mean, just imagine that if you hate me. If you hate me and you think that it's really cool to go and knock me online and tell me that I'm not allowed to, to, to talk about the one thing that I'm an expert in is Q cases, if you're going to tell me that, wouldn't it be the coolest thing in the world to be able to just show up at my shop and just, just totally break me down and bust all my claims? Wouldn't that be the best thing for you? So if you hate me that much, Make the effort. Make the effort to come here and fact check me live and prove to the entire world what a liar I am about my stuff. You know? 
Come and do that. But you know what? You're not going to do it. You're not going to do it because the easiest thing in the world is to criticize from behind your keyboard, you know, and to carry a grudge just because I wasn't nice to you at one point or I did something that you were like, oh, that John, he made, you know, he was... He was talking shit about some other case maker and that poor case maker, you know, that poor brand needs, needs my help. You know, I, they, they, they need my help to be defended against, you know, by that, by that terrible John Barton who's attacking them, you know, you know what the best defense is against my criticism? You know what the best defense is? Make a better case, build a better product, build a product that stands up to the claims that are made. Build a product where when someone says that product is the best or that case is the best, it can be objectively proven that it's better than what I make. That's the best defense against my criticism of any description that anyone makes of any other case. So, but you're not going to do that. You know why? Because it's just easier to be a keyboard dipshit. Um and talk about how evil I am and how bad I am and how terrible I am, you know. Meanwhile, meanwhile, in the five or ten minutes that you took to write all the bullshit about me and how terrible I am, guess what? I got more orders. I made more money. More people got in line to buy my cases. And why? Why? Because I can back up what I say. And you know what the saying is? It ain't bragging if you can do it. Think about it.